I am like walking a little bit in like both worlds, like within like the 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 Western like colonized like post colonized world, and then I'm also walking in like um, traditional like the traditional like indigenous like post apocalyptic world too. The ways in which that I try to like ground myself more so like presently with gender is um, considering like my ties to to gender. And that all comes through like indigenous like indigenous Dene creation stories um, and mythology, like where we come from. Um, like first man and, and first woman, like, giving birth to, like, um, different gender systems. I, I think so much of that, like, wasn't really, I mean, I, I wasn't taught it when I was younger. Like, um, it was something that, I, that I've learned within the last, like, 10 years. Um, and I, that's just, like, the, the Navajo tribe, like, different like indigenous tribes throughout the United States have like their own gender systems. And so when I talk about like gender from like an indigenous perspective, um, and when I talk about it to other, um, to, to non-indigenous people, like I constantly, I constantly remind them that like gender, like within a, a pre-colonial world was like so much more like dynamic and diverse than than we have come to like understand it now like so much of like gender identity has just been completely like destroyed in the americas um and it's hard to i think it's like really hard and impossible to like um even completely know how to like reconnect to that um to, re to, to reconnect to something that was so like viciously like um, torn apart. Like the pilgrims come over and like the first Americans come over and they're all escaping like religious persecution and they're all escaping like centuries and centuries of like religious like warfare to a certain degree, you know, like it, they instill like all these values and onto indigenous people. Like I, I consider like, you know, the, the, the pilgrims and first Americans to be very transphobic and homophobic. Um, and indigenous cultures like, you know, were embracing some of these things. Indigenous gender gradient people had like different roles and responsibilities within their cultures prior to colonization. Like for the Navajo, like um, people who like, uh, who were masculine, feminine and, and feminine, masculine, and nodly, um, they had certain roles and were, were revered within their societies. Through colonization and through assimilation um, has been like so completely like altered and in some cases like completely stamped out, erased, and destroyed. I mean, I think it's also like, I, I, there's also like other complex issues like tied to it, like that have to do with like power structures. like. A lot of like early colonizers didn't want because of the way that like patriarchy was like set up in Europe, like they didn't want to deal with like matriarchs in the Americas, you know, like some of the early leaders didn't want to like speak to female leaders because they didn't they, they had like such like a um, uh, oppressive and negative view on like women in general. I mean, patriarchy has been like functioning very well for centuries. Um, especially in like a, in, in Western cultures, um, some of like the the some indigenous feminists like talk today about how some of like the first waivers and suffragettes um, were like could have actually been inspired by indigenous women who who had you know equal representation within their tribes. Um, there are some instances where the Iroquois women have been like you know, hold up, like, we had every, all these things that you're striving for, all these things that you're fighting for, like, we had prior to colonization. And that has completely been, like, you know, disrupted, like, completely. Um, I think also another complex issue is considering the ways in which, like, indigenous masculinity has completely, like, been, like, corrupted. Indigenous men, like, having to, like, cut their hair, 
you know, something that, that is like a very sacred thing within some cultures um, was completely like destroyed um, and disrespected like through the boarding school systems. Um, and so those are two instances of, like within like matriarchy and patriarchy that were like very vicious um, tactics that were used against indigenous people. That's not even, that's not even taken into account like indigenous people of like different gender gradient backgrounds or sexualities. The times that my identity is like the most respected I feel like is through my art and poetry. The times in my life that I've been most seen and valued um, has definitely come through like my visual art practice and and poetry like through writing and it mostly happens when there's like a, a close engagement with 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 somebody who um, is not necessarily hungry for it, but sees themselves like reflected in it you know people who have had a difficult time articulating it or people who have felt that they were the only ones who like had thought about it had thought about ways in which like you know white punk culture can be completely like dismissive or exclusionary of, of queer trans people of color, you know? And so to see other people like get really excited and like feel validated, um, someone who like I, I see myself in, like before I was an artist, before I decided to become an artist, like is something that is like, I didn't anticipate would ever be like rewarding and and um, even possible, but like that is probably like the the biggest high that I can that that I can get or receive. When I was younger, like I struggled like so much with like my sexuality and and gender identity, um, but I would say I I feel like nowadays like we have we. Kids, kids these days have access to resources that not not that they always like take advantage of them and not like they're not that it's like terrifying to like reach out and and do a search even like like to even search something in Google can sometimes be like so terrifying. Um, but I feel like there's just a completely different world out there that is made available to 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 society than, than what was available when I was younger. To practice like self-love is probably like what I would have, that's what I would have told myself when I was younger, you know, like love yourself, like don't compare yourself to like anyone else. The keys to like our happiness and, and, and confidence and survivability like all comes through ourselves, you know, like I, I don't I can't think of anything that would be like a more bigger reward than that. Mm -hmm.